and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God, signifying unto us the mystical union which is betwixt Christ and his church, which is a holy estate, Christ adorned and beautified with his presence of the first miracle he wrought in Cana of Galilee and is commended of St. Paul to be honorable of all men and therefore is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly and in the fear of God into this holy estate these two persons come now to be joined if any man can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak or forever hold his peace. Michael, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? Will you love, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? Forsaking all others, keep yourself under her only, so long as you both shall live. Don, will you have this man be your wedded husband? Will you love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep yourself unto him only, so long as you both shall live. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Perfectly and I. Stay forward. And to hold and stay forward. For better or for worse. Better or for worse. Richer or poor. Richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Till we are separated by that. Till we are separated by that. Don, you will repeat the vows after me. I don take thee my Be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, the love and cherish, till death do us part. What pledge do you give of sincerity to your vows, Matt Michael? gold is used in a wedding band is that it's one of the purest of all metals and it symbolizes the purity of the love that you're to have for each other. And the fact that it is a serpent you are saying to your partner, wear this as a token of my pure and enduring love for you. Michael, will you place it on John's ring finger and repeat after me. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. And with all my worldly goods I thee endow. With all our wills and goods, I be in that. Until we should be separated by that. Until we shall be separated by that. Don, what place did you give? Mm -hmm. You'll take the ring and place it on Michael's ring finger as a token of the pure and very love that you promised to cherish for him. And repeat after me. This ring I did give yes, in token and pledge of my constant faith and abiding love until we should be separated by death. For as much as you, Michael and Don, have consented in holy wedlock and have thereto confirmed the same by giving and receiving these rings by the authority committed to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now declare you husband and wife.
Would you join me in the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send now thy blessings upon these thy servants, this man and this woman, whom we bless in thy name, that they, living faithfully together, may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant made between them, whereon this ring given and received is a token of their pledge, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to thy laws, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It gives me great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael James Brown. Thank you. 